ברוך שהחיינו וקיימנו והגיענו לזמן הזה to the start of this new shir here in Lakewood we begin right away ברשוסטם אודסרה of Ratberg for his benevolence in just rolling out the red carpet to me uh, and uh, to the board of directors of the shul. Thank you very, very much for having the shir here and thank you to all of you. This is a very, very busy time. We really don't know what to do first. Should we take care of the little Vanasrik? Should we start the sukkah? Should we look at the alchets? Should we sleep? Should we eat? There's a lot of things lying for our attention. I have to do kaparas. I didn't do tashlich. I want to do ataras nedarim. I uh, want to help my wife. You know, I want to run away. I want to, <laughs> there's a lot of things. And you're coming. Uh, really, it's really nice to come. Uh, and Baruch uh, Hashem, this is a shir that's been going on pretty much every week for 38 years. Uh, it started in Beis Yisrael in Borough Park in 11th Avenue, 56th Street. And then from there it moved to the uh, Aguda 14th Avenue. From there it moved to the Swadish Shul. And then for the last 17 years, it was by Rabbi Landau Shul in uh, Brooklyn in the main shul. And now we have this beautiful new home, Emir Tzashem, over here in the Rabbi Ratrik Shul here in Lakewood. We welcome, of course, those are joining us digitally, those that are joining us on Facebook, those that are joining us on Zoom, uh, and on TorahAnytime.com. This is going to be actually live streamed. Uh, it's called live streamed uh, at 12 o'clock uh, tomorrow. There's a special presentation for TorahAnytime.com. Um, so the Gemara tells us that Hasatan is Bigmatria 364. Because one day of the year, the solar year is 365 days, one day the Satan has no Rishus to prosecute, and that's on Yom Kippur. And we know that who are Satan, who are Yetzahara, who are Malach Amavis, he wears three hats, and the Satan doesn't have uh, permission to tempt us either. On Yom Kippur. So Rav Sternbach asks, if that's the case, then how come people still sometimes talk in shul on Yom Kippur? How come people don't have kavana in their davening? How come people get angry? There's no Yetzirah. So Rav Sternbach says a very big novelty. He says those sins are obviously not from the Yetzirah but rather they're sins of hergel. They're sins because we're used to doing them. That's not the Yetzirah anymore. That's because it's just a habit by us. And that's a scary thing. If we see that we're doing these things even on Yom Kippur, that means that we're doing it even without the Yetzirah. We're doing it just because... <laughs> This is the way I daven. You know, I just space out. And uh, this is the way I feel in shul. Like it's a little bit like a clubhouse. And, uh, you know, this is the way I'm cavalier with my wife. I don't smile at her. You know, I just... And these are areas that we should realize that we especially need to work upon. If we're doing it even on Yom Kippur, then that's a sign that we're, we really have to work to eradicate it. And it also means that a lot of times we don't realize that we're even doing something wrong. This is the old rule of Ava Vishana Nasala When we do something so repeatedly, we don't even realize there's something wrong. I had once a congregant whose wife called me up and said, uh, my husband's temper is really getting out of hand. Can uh, the Rav maybe speak about it a little bit? 
So I, that Shabbos, uh, I spoke about that Ramila used to say that Kas is the same letters as Eches, which means the venom of a snake, and that anger is poison. And I said, the Maimur Chazal, that kol is kol mine by, such a person will need all the treatments of hell. I said, there's, Loyalenu, there's so many different treatments we have today. Loyalenu, uh, chemotherapy, radiation, we have all kinds, stereotactic radiation, immunotherapy, we have all kinds of treatments. It says, kol We'll need all the treatments of Gehenim. And I want to tell you, this man, I, I occasionally glanced at him, and he's nodding like this, like I'm saying, Dvarim Pshutim. You know, he's throwing things in his house, and I'm saying Dvarim Pshutim. And the answer is, is it's very scary, but it was such repeat behavior for him that he didn't even realize what he was doing. And although this sounds a little bit far-fetched, give an example. You ask somebody, how was your davening this morning in shul? You say, great, the chazan was great. It was really... The man didn't talk to Hashem once. He davened Musaf and he didn't think about the carbon Musaf. But he said davening was great. How could davening be great? You daven Musaf and you didn't think about the carbon Musaf. Davening is great. The answer is, he, he never thinks about the Karma Musaf. And he very rarely talks to Hashem. So, like the Altaf and Kellum said, our success as educators is our biggest enemy. We succeed as ed- educators to make mitzvahs second nature for the children. That's our biggest enemy. If it becomes second nature, it becomes habitual, and that's a problem. So our success becomes our biggest enemy. And we, have to, we really have to work on this. And the sign is, is if we're doing it to the point that it's even on Yom Kippur, but there's no Yitzhar on Yom Kippur. So why should we be doing it? That's already not from the Yitzhar. That's from habit. It's a very, it's something to, really, really work on. And uh, of course, it's, it's, it's in many areas. You know, tefillin. Think about it. We don't wear tefillin nowadays the whole day because first of all, it's hard to ha- keep a goof naki, a clean body, but also because we're not supposed to be masiach das from tefillin. We're not supposed to be distracted from tefillin. And I say to myself, I'm not supposed to be distracted. What about saying it the other way around, that I should at least once in a while have in mind my tefillin? People put on the tefillin, and they don't give it a moment's thought. It's like a mamish like they're putting on a blood pressure cuff. They, you know, tefillin, one of the things Rav Miller would always say about tefillin is that it should be a reminder... Are you planning to learn today? That's what it says about film. Laman tia Taira Sashem Bafika. You should hear like a little subliminal message. When are you learning today? What's the plan? When are you learning tonight? Kviasitim every twelve hours. Put on the Tfilin. Zechel Yitzias Mitzrayim. Maril Diskin says the first time we wore tefillin, we stayed up Pesach by night. We weren't allowed to leave the house. Ishloi takes him a Pesach Beisai. So we took the hides of the carbon Pesach and we manufactured tefillin. And right after that, we wore tefillin. So the tefillin connects us literally, historically, till when we came out from its right. Supposed to think about it. Yushua Hashem be matzo. Seek Hashem when he can be found. Kro'u b'yaisei karav. Call to him when he's close.
Rabbi Sai, opportunity knocks. This is the time to ask. This is the time to ask not to get sick. The best way to daven is in anticipation. Unfortunately, we are reactionaries and we daven when something happens. But Hashem says that we should daven in anticipation. The Chaveirim of Eiv asked Eiv, Hayaroich Shuach HaShaloi Batzar? Did you arrange your prayers before you had trouble? Think about Leah. She's davening till her eyelashes fell out that she shouldn't marry a Russia. She's spending so much time davening ahead. To daven, like it says, Al Zois Yispalul Kol Chosid Laes Mitzay. We're now by Yom Kippur, and we saw what a year this was. We saw a year that could have happened to anybody. Many of us were at MetLife Stadium. If there was a drone, I know the person that was in charge in MetLife Stadium of drone security. They were very worried about drone terrorism. If there was a drone in a quadrant and people got up and started running, there could have been a stampede. There could have been a Mayron at, at Life Stadium. There could have been bleachers, God forbid, that collapsed at MetLife Stadium. Anything that we saw this year could have happened to any one of us. You've never went to a place and stayed in an old hotel? You know, I was a speaker, a scholar in residence, in the old Tamarack Hotel on the 52. Do you know that the Tamarack is sinking into the ground? Any one of us was there. It could have been a surfside, Rahman al Any one of us stayed in an old building. One of the things that we saw this year, it's very scary what can happen. And COVID? COVID is still very much with us. Co COVID is still very much with us. I had on my Zoom tonight, my Zoom Daf Yaimi, one of my regular members, Yitzi Muller, had COVID, had both vaccinations, but he has a weak system and he got COVID again. And he sent me a text that Rabbi Weiss, I I'm too nauseous to come on the Zoom. We're still living in a time where we Manama Gefa Minachalosecha. Manama Gefa Minachalosecha is a very big reality. It's a very big reality. I spoke uh, about uh, 10 days ago. I spoke on a Zoom to Australia, to Melbourne. And in Melbourne, they, most of Melbourne did not go to Shul on Rosh Hashanah. And a lot of Melbourne is not going to be going to Shul on Yom Kippur. And their infrastructure is struggling. As is, of course, we all know, in infrastructure in Eretz Yisrael, people don't want to fight to get an issue, and uh, they don't want to make plans that could be, uh, they have to wait till the last minute, and then it's not going to work. So what does that do to the tourist industry in Eretz Yisrael, the hotels, the restaurants, the caterers? What does it do? It destroys them. It dawned on me that that's why we don't say Menama Geifa Mi We say Menama Geifa Mi because it affects the whole Nachala. It affects everybody. On this day, Yom Kippur, Yom HaKadosh, we are the last day of the Aseret Simei Tshuva, where Hashem is the closest to us. Mamish the closest. B'yoyseh Karov, the culmination of the ten days of repentance, Hashem is closest to us. We should take this day for everything that it has to offer us. We should really use it. And we should use, to get our tefillahs to be listened to, 
we should use all the ammunition we can. So one of the things that we should do is we should pray for each other. It's really a simple thing, but people don't do it. People get, get so wrapped up in their private needs. Rabbi Nisham, the Parnassah was hard. I want Shalom Bayez. Rabbi, ay, 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 ay. That they forget. Be mispalal ba'ad chaveiroi. Be mispalal for other people. There are other people. They lost their jobs because of COVID. There are other people whose children are off the tariff. There are other people that have four or five older children not married. Pray for other people. That's a sure way to get in with the Rabbi Nishon. And then you could be already a sophisticated davener. What's well, not a sophisticated davener? You could play global. You could say, you know, there are people in Europe now that are suffering from anti-Semitism. And there are people in regions where they have strict COVID laws that they, Hassanim and Kalas, that's how it is in Melbourne, they canceled Hassanis already three times. Hassan and Kalas had their Hassanis canceled three times. And you could pray for people all over the place. Well, no, that makes our tefillahs so much more effective. Then, have a safer around on Yom Kippur. First of all, we know that when there's less learning in the world, the learning is extremely valued by the Rabbi Nisham. You know, it's the Welt says that that's why there's two days Purim. It's unheard of to have a split in Klal Yisrael, but there's a Purim and there's a Shushan Purim. Why? Because I'm poor and people can't learn. They're a little bit, you know what I mean, a little intoxicated. So you can't have the whole world intoxicated. So then you have a Purim. So the people that are in Shushan Purim, they're learning. And in Shushan Purim, the people in Purim are learning. That's the way it works. You know that in, in Voloshin, in Voloshin, it was a nuclear submarine setup. You know how it works in a nu- nuclear submarine? A nuclear submarine doesn't have room for beds for everybody. So if there's crew of 24, there's eight beds. And then there's an infirmary. But there's eight beds, because everybody gets a bed for, three, for eight hours. Right? So if there's, if there's 24 people, that's the way it was in Volazhin. In Volazhin, the, the, uh, the, they, they, they learned around the clock. They had three shifts. And you had a bed for eight hours. And they did that because they believed that they had to uphold the world with with learning. So you have a Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur, you're learning. There's not that much learning in the world. Because in another part of the world, it's after Yom Kippur. There's also not so much learning in the world. So Yom Kippur, when you learn and then you daven, it makes the, the davening so much more effective. That's what it says in Akdamas. In Akdamas it says, Savi v'chamid v'ragig d'yilin b'luusa. The Rabbi Nisham pines, desires, waits for those that weary themselves with their learning. When they do that, Sloisan b'chein mekabel, their prayers are accepted, v'hanya b'usa, and their petitions are effective. So you learn. And you daven, whoa. Then we have something else. Vani svilasi l'cha Hashem es ratzay. And I, my prayers to you, Hashem, should be at a time of favor. We have a yesoid that when you do a mitzvah, you create a time of favor. So you have to know that if you fill your Yom Kippur with tshuva and vidui, you're doing the mitzvah of the day. That's the mitzvah of the day. Lefnei Hashem Titoro. Before Hashem is your pure. The Kitzvah Shonach says they're referring to Erev Yom Kippur. The Pashup Shad is, it means An Yom Kippur, An Yom And we're doing tshuva and we're doing vidui. 
So we have in mind all the compo- components, the charata l'sha'ava, regretting what we did, and kabbalah l'osin, and we do the vidu, yona Hashem chotosi of yisi pashati l'fanech of arini nechamti yobayishni v'maisai. Right? Vidu. Both men and women have a mitzvah vidu. What does that mean? It means that you know if you said something not nice to someone, you did an Avera the Raisa of Aino Astavarim, you have to say Vidu. I'm grieved and embarrassed by my side. Now the Rambam's text is I'll never do it again. It's very hard to say that. You didn't. You, you got up late, and you didn't say Kriyishma Bismani. You're going to say Ula Oila It's very hard. So the Mabit in the Beis of the Kim says you could do Tshuva Mimixis. You could say I'll try not to do it again. But if you do Tshuva and you do Vidu, ooh, it's a big Ace Then your Tefila is more accepted. The Manchester Rosh Hashiva would bring his daughter, after his wife passed away, he would bring his daughter, her negovas. So the daughter said, Tati, please, I'll get it myself. I said, no, please, I used to bring mommy a coffee. And that was my vani b'tzedek echa zeponecha. That was my ace rotson. That's how I created ace rotson. <laughs> Manchester Rashiva learned brachas every morning before davening. That could have been his ace rotson, but he wanted to do a chesed. He wanted to do ani b'tzedek echa zeponecha. You have to know when you do mitzvahs, when we do mitzvahs, then our tefillahs are listened to more. We create an ace rotson. That's why, do you make here in the shul mishaberach on Shabbos? Yeah, you make a mishaberach. Baruch Hashem. Right? It means the children will turn out better. Right? They have all these mishaberach. But what is it? All of a sudden you become a rebbe, you can make a mishaberach? Well, how does that work? The answer is, is you get an aliyah, and you give covered hatayra barab. That's such a mitzvah which is even greater than learning Torah. Umar Megillah says that covered Torah is even greater than learning Torah. So it means it's connected kula. Once you did such an honor, Baruch Hu has Hashem HaMavarach in front of the Gantz of Kela on, on the Torah, you create an Ace Ratzim. So you could give brachas. That's the way it works. So on Yom Kippur, if we do tshuva and we do vidui, and we learn, we create an Ace Ratzim, and now we can say, Hashem, please, I don't want any scares this year. I don't want any scares. I have to tell you, I carry on about this because I remember my first Rebetzin, Mirim Libo, Basri Baran, Zecher, Tzedekah, Zavrocha, Schusser, Yog and Aleinu. I remember the day that she got her diagnosis. I kept it from her for a year. But... I remember the doctor telling me there's cancer in the pancreas. And then for the next two and a half years, I didn't have one hour trouble free, worry free. And therefore, I tell people should understand what it means to daven for menuchas hanefesh, to be able to be carefree. People think carefree means you can go out and play frisbee whenever you want. That's not what I mean by carefree. I mean that you don't have a care. You don't have, you don't have, you're not worried about a, a tzara, a problem. It's a big request to ask. There's so much to daven for. And of course, that's just the start. We want to daven. The Chavis Halvavis says, Devorim Shiroitza Lahas Midbo. Things that you want to continue, don't take them for granted. Don't say, ah, Shambai, I don't have to worry. <laughs> I don't have a problem in that arena. That's very naive to think that way. You never know your spouse could have a friend, and that friend, they start jogging together. They start doing weights together. And this, this person tells your spouse, you know, I always thought you could do better. That's what we daven, hachikenu. 
me adam ra me chavara. But eh, she's jogging with somebody and says, How did you end up with such a zhlub? And then all of a sudden it starts planting ideas in her head. I never noticed, but he is a zhlub. You're such a sophisticated woman. And he's like a, a, a you know, like a, a putz. And all of a sudden, she starts looking at him differently. It's mamish. It's gefalich what could happen. It's I saw a case like this. It's gefalich what could happen. So we ask Hashem, please Hashem, let me continue having a good marriage. Even if it's good. She writes, I'll ask me, but I'll tiftach, but don't take them for granted. Here's a girl. She comes home one day and tells her parents, I think I'm more a boy than a girl. Huh? What'd you say? Yeah. I think I want to take male hormones. Parents don't even know where to start. We dive into the Rabbani Shalom, please, Hashem, I should have Yiddish and Nagas, my children, my grandchildren. Rabbi said, we dive in every day, Atafeni and Adam Das. I had two situations in my shul of early stage dementia. One woman who was a, a, the head nurse of the NICU started making mistakes. She had to recuse herself. And then she stopped being able to do simple things. She couldn't find where the fleishichs and the milchichs was in the kitchen. And then she started wandering out of the house and getting lost. And slowly she deteriorated and deteriorated. We ask Hashem, please Hashem, let me have my dance, please. There's so much to daven for. And this is the day to daven for it. Not to take things for granted and to create, to create ways that the Rabbi Nishalayim should listen to us more. Now the first thing is, this might sound silly, and you might say, I don't know if I should come to Rabbi Weiss this year. He says, Dvarim Pshutim, it's supposed to be liquid. You know, it's not supposed to be. So it might sound, but it's not. That's great. Right? I, I, re, I realized it's a shot of mine, which I found out later on, other G'daylim say, Rav Shmuel Bar Shilas. Shilas, where's the name Shilas come from? Shilas is the Rosh Tevish, Shivisi Hashem L'Negdi Sam. But you know why it says that over there? You should realize that when you're davening, you're talking to somebody. That's, some some have dalif name miata omate. Dalif name miata It's the same idea. No, that you're standing in front of someone. So I had the schia this week to speak to some children in Lakewood in one of the yeshivas. What's the name of the yeshiva? Oshraga. Oshraga. So he spoke to some wonderful boys in Oshraga. And I told them that I want to give them a way that they should train themselves that they're talking to somebody. Because, you know, if you get into good habits, oh, because a lot of people, you should know, when they daven, they're davening well, but they're davening to the sitter. No, 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 no. Have a relationship with the sitter. Right? They forget they're davening to Hashem. People bench also, they bench to the bench. You know? I, I, I bench to the bench. If Shach said he lived longer with the bench, I bench with the bench. So they're benching to the bencher. They're not benching. How do you remember you're talking to Hashem? You don't see him. So I told the children that I want them, when they open the sitter, I want them to make an imagery that they're opening a door. Jum! The palace door of Hashem. They're going into the palace and they take the three steps forward. That's Kitsanis, Maris, Zapnimis. They're talking that. And you'll be surprised. It works. It makes you remember. Oh, I just entered the palace of Hashem. And that's why, by the way, 
when you don't have kavana in the first bracha of Shemayin Esrei, you really should say Shemayin Esrei over again. Why? Because when you come to the palace, you know, I, I, I go to fairways. You can't get in. It's a gated community, right? You have to have a password, you know? You, have to, you want to get into the palace of Hashem, you got to give a password. The password is, I'm a child of Avram Yitzhak and Yaakov. You don't have kavana with a password, you never got in. You're standing outside the whole time. So therefore, it's very important to train yourself that you're talking to the Rabbi Nisham. By the way, then you're way ahead of the game. Ah, I'm talking to the Rabbi Nisham. Okay. Talking to the Rabbi Nisham? You know, Kikel Shemea Tfilis Kope. Then already, it's amazing how people could make their life better when they talk and talk to the Rabbi Nisham. In Mesechtis Kal Rabasi, it tells us a nifty gematria. Shalom is the gematria 376, and Shaveya is the gematria 376. And it says that people that are mavakesh shalom ain't filosoi chayzeres reikam. So if you're a person that pursues peace, you know what it means pursuing peace? It means that if you smell politics, I don't know if you know what politics is, but if you smell politics, you run the other way. Run the other way. You look for ways to get along with the difficult people. There are people, man. The people are difficult. I want to talk to you about what we're supposed to be doing tomorrow and tonight. Besides eating. <laughs> Everybody wants to eat. Right? You want to know when is this year over? I got to eat. I didn't sit down to eat yet today, a formal meal. But uh, the... We know we ask, will you meichel me? Will you meichel me? Will you meichel me? We know that sins that are between us and our fellow man, even if we do tshuva, is not forgiven unless we ask mechina. The pursuit of asking mechila is, and granting mechila, is one of the biggest protections of this time of the year. Because it's a simple mida connected mida. We say in Tefillah Zaka, and you should say this, Rabbi Ruven Feinstein used to give a clap in yeshiva that everybody should say this part of Tefillah Zaka, that I meichel everybody. You know what happens when I say I meichel everybody? Hashem says, you're Michael, everybody, even if that person isn't nice to you, even if that person is, isn't, wasn't right, even if that person is downright nasty, even if that person is a repeat offender, then you know what? I could be Michael, you, even though you keep on doing the same stupid thing over and over again. And even though you promised me you weren't going to do it and you did it again, but you're willing to be Michael everybody, so I'll be Michael you. You know what a defense that is? The Gemara highlights this by telling us a very scary story about Rav Huna. Rav Huna was on his deathbed. Rav Papa came to visit him, and Rav Papa said, prepare the Tachrichen. And then Rav Huna got better, showed up to Minyan. Rapapa felt bad. And Rafuna said, You were right to tell them. You were right to tell the Chavar Kadisha. But what happened was, is I'm Mavar al Midaisai. I'm Michael people that wronged me. And I have, I have that knowledge that because of that, they said, Let him go and let him live. That's a tremendous lesson. 
you forgive people that wronged us. They wronged us. Yeah, I'm a rub, so nobody wrongs me. You know, everybody loves a rub. But uh, you know, but but, but <laughs> don't laugh. Don't laugh. I'm a career rabbi. Who doesn't like a career rabbi that says drushes and keeps people in shul later than eleven o'clock? Everybody loves a rabbi, right? So, but you know, if I Michael people, then the Rabbi Nisham says I'll be Michael you. And I want you to know that the importance of being Michael is probably the main reason why we say that Sarah Haruge Malchus in Mosif. Sarah Haruge Malchus and Tishabov, that's simple. It's very, very careful. It's the day for mourning. That makes sense. But Sarah Haruge Malchus and Yom Kippur, why do we say it? So there are those that say it's because Rabbi Kiva was killed on Yom Kippur. And a matter of fact, that they say, Zarul Leiv Simcha. So the safe Tavis of Zarul at Sadik Uli Yishwe Leiv Simcha is Akiva. And, okay, that's a reason. But another reason is because we say that the Asara Uge Malchus had to die because Yosef never said he was Michael the Shvat. And it highlights the importance of being Michael. If you think about it, how do we start the Yom Kippur? What opens it up? Yeshiva Shalmata, will be Yeshiva Shalmata, Aldas Hamokom, Valdas Hako, Onu Matirim Lispalalim Avayanim. Oh, the Rabbin Shalom says, Yeah, that's the way you're going to behave. I'll behave that way with you. That's what I do. Mida can I get Mida? It's a very big thing. I always felt there are people that they skip a Torah in the Dharam. I don't make a Dharam. I, I, everything I say, believe me, I never, I never make a Dharam. I can skip the whole thing. They got it so wrong. I believe that the main thing of the Torah in the Dharam is not being mati your neder, it's being mati other people's neder. Is you're doing something for other people, Hashem says you're being mati other people's neder, I could look away from you. People that, that miss Hattar's Nadar, they miss those. You, there are some people, they're in a rush. They say, I'm going to say, can you listen to me? I got to be out of here. I'm out of here. You know, there's always people that think that they're busier than everybody else. You know, I'm out of here. You know, but they, they missed out on being mad to other people's Nadar. And that's the main thing. You don't have Nadar. I want to show you something. Look at the word Mechal. The word mechal, to forgive, is the same word as lechem. You want to get your bread this year? Be Michael people. And it's the same words, letters, as chomal, to have mercy. You want to get rachmei shemayim, mercy? Be Michael. Try it. It's the same thing also with slach. Slach, to forgive, is the same letters as chasal. You want to finish up the season? Forgive people, you got the season in the bag. And it's also the same at letters as lechos, to have mercy. Because you're slach, if you, if, you, if you forgive people, you're set. It's, it's, a very, it's a very big part of the season. I want to also tell you about saying I'm sorry. Um, by the way, does anybody have a portable phone charger with them, with a cord. Probably not. Huh? No portable charger over here in the show. Because my, uh, my phone is, we got an audience over here on Facebook, but my phone is a little bit low. No, no, none, no, none, of, none of the people are carrying anything? Oh, there's somebody that's carrying something. Okay, now, the, uh, Well, he's getting it from the car, I think. Yeah, that you yeah, have, but now I need a cord. Oh, you don't? Oh. Thank you. Charger? Yeah. Good, thank you. You want to tell him because he ran to the car? I think we got something. Thank you. Uh,
When we say I'm sorry, there's a huge difference between I'm saying I'm sorry or if you say I'm sorry, but there's a huge difference. When Nosen Anovi chastised David Hamelech for the sin of Bathsheba, he said, That's it, I sinned. Oops, I blew it. And he kept his malucha. Shola Melech, Shmuel said to him, and what did Shmuel say? What did Shol say? Chotasi, I sinned. Kiyoresi esa om ve'eshma b'kadam. But, but is a whole different story. You, you, you know, Ramila used to say. Ramila used to say before Yom Kippur, go to your wife, go to your husband, and say, please be meichel me. I'm sorry. Now, Rapam said we should work on sincerely forgiving people. As it's interesting. Rapam said, the barnu doifi, which literally means to speak slander, doifi is dupi, two mouths. That's the way Rav Yosef Kimchi writes. Doifi is dupi, don't speak with two mouths. Echad bepev, echad belev. Should be sincere. But Rav Yosef Engel says, once you say, I forgive you, the fact that you were thinking in your head, yeah, not in a million years, it makes no difference. That's Dvarm Shabalev. And Dvarm Shabalev ain't Dvarm. That's what Rav Yosef Engel says. And that's what Miller said. You could hear him. It's, it's on many tapes. Once your wife says, I forgive you, you're going to have a much better year, even if she doesn't mean it. You know, about she said it. Ask, ask your husband, please forgive me. I don't want to go into Yom Kippur with hard feeling. Please forgive me. It's a must tomorrow. It's a must. He said, I don't need to ask. I don't, I don't know if you're funny asking. Don't feel funny. It's a buffet with Shira Miller. Other Gedalim did it. Never heard of a Befevish or a Miller? Well, a Befevish, he thinks it's only a Befevish or Mishnah Brew. There's a Befevish or a Miller. Believe me, a Miller was one of the Gedele, Gedele Island. There's a minik tomorrow, which I want to do tomorrow morning in the shul, that the rabbi has a plate of cake and people come and ask for a piece of cake. The minig is that you should beg so that if on Rosh Hashanah there was a gizar that you had to beg, it should be chal on the begging for a piece of cake. That's, that's, that's a minig. That, by the way, is based on the idea, and it's a very big idea, very soon we're going to go out in the sukkah. One of the reasons why we go out in the sukkah, we say in the L'shem Yichud, we say that it should be Yechoshev li zayz ke'ilu hirchakti nedayd. That when I leave out of my house in the sukkah, we're saying that in case there was a psak on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, that I should lose my mortgage and have to move, it should be mekuyim on going out in the sukkah. In case I was supposed to go to jail, to Otisville, Rahman al-Litzan, it should be hushing me going out in the sukkah. In case, God forbid, I should have to leave my house to a basement and get divorced, it's a very big mechanism. Same idea is when we throw bags at a chasen, an afruf. What are we doing? that in case in his new life he should have things hurled at him, it should be McQueen with the bags that hit him. That's, what, that's, that's the way it works. The, by the way, this is based, one of the earliest times we saw this mechanism is Noyach, that Hashem put him in a, a Teva's gopher. Why? Because Noyach also was supposed to be punished with gophers. But instead of getting sulfurized, they put him in a teva of goifer. So therefore we do things that it should be chal. The Gemara had it that, that uh, the, the Amaira turned over his chair. So it should be considered as if he got a punishment. I 
על חטא שחטאנו לפניך ביידים ובלא יידים. It's been pointed out that there's no al hate about Tyra, which is a big question. Why shouldn't there be an al hate about Tyra? That's Tchilas Dino Shalad Mein Ela Bidivre Tyra. Why don't we Why don't we clap an al hate about learning Tyra? Some say it's this al hate, al hate Shechatanu Lefenech Biyodim for those things that we know we're not supposed to do, but we did it anyway, like an occasional Lashon Hara Chas Visham. And the things that we don't know about. I didn't know that that was Byron. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know that was Muxa. I didn't know that was a boss of Sildava or Asr. I didn't. I, I don't know. Well, why don't you know? Because you don't learn it. So, the things that we know, because I didn't learn. Big thing. But it's also a very big thing to realize that of the al the majority of them are sins between us and our fellow man. Almost half of them is about speech. And the majority of them are Ben Adam Lechaveir. Why is that? Why? Why? So many of the commentators tell us an interesting thing. That for sins Ben Adam Lemokain, we get punished in the next world. For sins bein adam lechaveiro, we get punished in this world, and we're concentrating on that we shouldn't suffer in this world and get punished, and we should have a chance yet to to rectify our life. So we concentrate on those sins between us and our fellow man, and it's also good for our mindset. How am I with people? How am I? How do people view me? When we're looking on Yom Kippur to better ourselves, could I be more friendly? Could I be more easygoing? If you want the be- simple best barometer to know if Hashem is happy with you, you ask yourself, you know, let's make a reevaluation. Does the Rabbanu Shalom like Moshe Meowais or what? You know? Or is he, you know, not so happy with me? So it's a Mishnah in Pirkei Avos. Kol she ruach ha-bria is menu, ruach ha-mokam menu. Now, the word selection over here is really stunning. It doesn't say somebody that people like. Or somebody that people love. It says, Kol shiruach abriyas noicheim, and people are at ease with you. They're not walking with you around on eggshell. You know, some people, watch out, otherwise it's, you know, some people, you know, you know, some people that, that, you know, it's a pleasure to talk to them. They're easygoing. They're, yeah, so you make a mistake. So listen, <laughs> big deal, you know. Other people, <laughs> the Rabbi Shalaylam is happy with people that people are at ease with. It's something to think about for the coming year. Remember, the best way to ask Hashem for things is to tell him a reason why he should give you a good year. That's the idea. Because for Achayim, Laman Chayim. Right? It's for you, Hashem, because I'm planning. I'm planning to say a lot of Amen Yeshme Rabbis and great prophets, and I'm going to work on my Maya prophets, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to learn Torah, and I'm going to do keep it up with Amen, and it's going to be a la Yudim Rabbi Nishon. So, remember this litmus test. Remember this barometer. Kol Sheruach Habriyas Noichemenu. If people are at ease with you, Remember, that's the person that we want davening for the What's the one characteristic that we want for davening for the Amit? Somebody that mingles good with people. That's, that's who we want as our ambassador. When we ask our weeks should start off good in Atuchanantanu, 
What's the first thing we ask for? Good week in learning? You're a Hashem? No. Yomim Abraham the Krasenu Lishalaim. First thing. Then, Chasu Hamichal Chay, there shouldn't be sin, Omenu Kimikalov, and there shouldn't be iniquity, Omen Bakim Yurasech, a fear of God, but Shalaim, Shalaim. By the way, I just want to tell you, the shir is an hour. I don't go over. Maybe I'll end earlier, but not over. Um, the, uh, also, I want to learn, dedicate the shir of Shalema for Mordechai Tzvi ben Sarah Rachel. Mordechai Tzvi ben Sarah Rachel should have a refuah Shalema b'sech shachel Yisrael. There is something that I say, since this is a new makam, I feel it's important to say it. One of the most powerful preparations for Yom HaKadosh is we want not just another year. I went off. How did that happen? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um, my fault. I thought it was charged enough that uh, it would have juice. Uh, the uh, they got most of the shit. The uh, the we don't want just another year. Tough Shimpei Bay should be just another year. We want a better year. Better gesund, better panasa, better shalom bayis. Better relaxation. Better, 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 better. Ravon Shalom says, of course, B'nai B'chai Yisrael, it's a pleasure. Just tell me, how are you going to be better? So therefore, the best way to come to shul is with a paper in your matzah called a to-do-better list. Simple. And the more things that you could put on the to-do-better list, the better you are. And it is good news. There's a lot of things to put on the to-do better list. For example, for the women that are listening. In Kriyashma, before it says, Laman Yirbu Yemechem, Yemechem, it says three mitzvahs. It says, Laman Temo Yisam Espenechem, right? Which is learning Torah. It says, Ukshar Temo Yisam Lo Yisal Yetchem, that's Tfilin. You don't have Torah. You don't have to learn Torah. You don't have to fill it. Right? Oh, that's a physical. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we'll let it charge. Um, you, you, thank you. You don't have, you, you don't have to fill it. But you have a on the Zuzah, Spaceco, Bishirek, Laman, Yerba, Yemei, Chemi, Mei, so you would think if you don't have Tyre, you don't have Tfilin, mezuzah should be front and center. Eh? Mezuzah what? What am I supposed to do? Oh. So when I grew up, the pen of choice for a more sophisticated person was a Parker pen. Ramosha always wrote, if you saw pictures by Hasanas, he had a uh, silver, uh, it was uh, silver with with uh, with black lines on it. A very, a very, I have such a pen, a Parker fountain pen. That's what he always used. But you saw the uh, arrow of the Parker pen, and you knew it was a Parker pen. You don't have to see the words Parker. You saw the arrow. You knew it was a Parker pen. Uh, just like some people today, they see the L, they know the car is a Lexus. Or they see the Cadillac em emblem, or BMW, they know it's a BMW. That's a, an association. That's the way a mezuzah is supposed to be. We should be trained, we see the mezuzah, and right away, subliminally, it triggers, Hashem is watching me. 
boom. We have that kind of an attitude. Shin Dalad Yud, Shai Medal Sus Yisrael. The Rabbi Nishalom says, I'm watching you. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. And it's the man Yerbi Yamechem. Such people, Hashem says, I want to live, I want them to live on the on the world a long time. Be may and I'm gonna help your children. I'm gonna work on Mrs. That goes on a to-do better list. That's for men too, but I'm saying women, this is a sure thing of mitzvah for women. Work on it. How do you say Maidani in the morning? Oh, I don't say Maidani in the morning. Is that so bad? Well, you can make your you year better by starting to say my daddy. No, I don't say I'm apple. Yeah, I turn over and I don't talk to my husband anymore. I don't talk to my wife anymore, but I'm too tired by that time. Say I'm apple. It's the last thing we do before sending up. Okay, you can't because you have to talk to the children. You have to. Some people hold you could say it even if you have to talk. But on those nights where you know that's it, I'm <laughs> taking a sleeping pill and I'm out. Say I'm apple. Say I'm apple. And that's a big improvement that goes on the to do better list. There's so many different things. You know what? I'm, you know what? You know what? I'm going to put on my talus. I'm going to have a mind. It's brought down that I can't do Shemitah because I'm living here. But the tzitzes with the five knots and the eight strings is Big Matthew 613. I have in mind that I would really like to do Shemitah. I just can't do it because I'm not in a cell, but I really like to do it. So, Chish of Lassa is bananas. It's as if you did it. And one day when you put on your tefillin, you hold it over your head, you say, you know what, Arabi Yisham, I'd really like to bring a carbon shlomim. You know, this Yom Tov, I would really like to do the mitzvah of Ali El but I can't. So Hashem says, oh, but you want to do it? You have in your mind the 613? It's Kiluasa. That goes on a to do better list. These are things that we could put on a to do better list that we're going to get into better habits. I'm going to do an amazing thing. I'm going to smile at my spouse in the morning. What a novel thought. What a novel, what a novel thought. That goes on the to-do better list. You know, that's the kind of thing that brings Shechina in the home. You know, we're saying all, all, all the time in our sleeves, Everything is Laman Shemecha. Hashem says, how are you Laman Shemecha? I guess as one shot is, is that he's Rachem Vachanan, so that's for the sake of his name. But it means something else. If we say, Hashem, I'm an Ish, my wife is an Isha, and I want to live with Shalom Bayes, and I, the Yud of the Ish and the He of the Isha combined, and it's the Shem Ka, it's Laman Shemecha. I come into Shul and I make a good Amen Ish, may Rabbi, it's Laman Shemecha. Shem, this year, I'm going to be Mava Sedra. That's going on my to do better list. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get bogged down by saying I can't do Rashi, I don't know what Umkulis means. I'm gonna do it two times Kumish, one time Umkulis, and that's it. Nothing fancy. That's not Chayavadam. Goes on a to do better list. You know, this year, Rabbi Nishalom, what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna answer all those letters that come in the mail and I'm gonna give a few dollars. I'm gonna give a few dollars. You know, it's not true, they're not monkey business. They're all real. I'm going to give a few dollars to each one. You're sending me these opportunities, I'm going to take the opportunity. It goes on a to-do better list. And make the year better. Rabbi say these are things that are certainly going to make the year better. Rabbi say I hope that it's 59 minutes and 24 seconds. So I hope that the island will spread the word around that there's such a share. The next share is going to be, there's not going to be a share on Yom Tov. The next year that's going to be is Thursday before Bereshis, because I don't want to miss Pasha's Bereshis. So the next year will be Thursday at 9.15 before Bereshis. And then on subsequent weeks, the share will always be Bez Hashem on Wednesdays. So, uh, so the next is going to be Thursday night before Bereshis, and then on subsequent Wednesday, Wednesdays. And I wish you all a Gemara Chasim Ataiva from Asukah.